You can have your seats. I am praising God who is in heaven. Whose name is Elohim. And I'm praising him again. Into another name. What is Jesus? The Lord of Spirit. Who has got the prophet as Sweden Mwambakunda. Is the Lord Elohim. Elohim. Today, Leo. what I am talking to you Kile is this. Niki. If you were not born with it, Kama if you were not born with it, Kama kwake nakyo. fight for it. Kyo. This is my topic today. If you were not born with it, Kama kwake nakyo. fight for it. And this small topic is remembering me great thing into my life. And I will read it into the book of 2 Kings. Chapter number 2. And verse 8. Verse 9. And verse 10. If you were not born with it, fight for it. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. If you were not born with it, Fight for it. Daddy Jonathan, tell that lady you are with. Papa Jonathan, Mone Cholo Manamuko Konae. If you were not born with it, fight for it. We are not born with everything. No. They are things what is coming to hinder after being born. See, according to the human natural, according to the, the human natural, people are born without tooth. Now, they are fighting to have it. Now, if they keep, they say no, because I was not born with it. I can't fight for it. They can't have it. We are not being born with crops. We are fighting for it, for having it. Whatever is very hard into your life, you were not born with it. Whatever you are not born with it, fight for it. Say your neighbor, if you were not born with it, fight for it. There was a prophet. This prophet, the name is Elijah. This man, Elijah, we don't know his mother. We don't know his father. We know only Elijah was a Tishabite. This Elijah was a Tishabite. He was a Tishabite. This is his tribe. A Tishabite. We know only that, no? Elijah a Tishbite. Elia Mutisibeti. Now his mother is no noun. His father is no noun. But we know he was a Tishbite. Mutishibe. Mutishibe. Now. Sasa. This man was not the Israelites. At that period, there was no prophet coming out of Israel. Any prophet who could prophesy in Israel was allowed to be only born in Israel. The one who is born in Israel is the one who can prophesy into Israel. Now this dish bites him too was a person coming from a certain place where people didn't know he's coming from where. But he start to prophesy. He start to pray. He start to burn. He is introducing God. He is introducing God into his tribe. To introduce. 
Et Mungu. What means to represent? Et Mungu ya But him Lakin was ye. not an Israelite. He was not born to As be an Israelite. But he Lakini fights for working into Israel. If you were not born with it, fight for it. Now, Sasa, into the book what I'm reading, there is a certain man whom, him too, yeye, the name was Elisha. This Elisha, Elisha, we don't know his mother, yake, we don't know his father. Now, Asa, when he met this man of God, whom we are calling, calling Elijah. They met like this. The man made an impartation. That impartation attracts Elijah. And Elijah starts to say, I want to go back to promise my father and my mother so that I follow you. Now, when he, he was to turn back, he didn't succeed. And Elijah said what? Na Elia nini? Go wherever you want go. Wende kule koto kwenda. But this impartation Me is attracting you Iko na just to succeed ju tu ya to do what you must do. Bilo na There are things what are Impossible. impossible. Whatever what are impossible, impossible. That is what God is helping to people. The book is being what? Where the mind of the human being stopped up. It is where the mind of God starts. It is to say kusema, where you see impossible. Where you, you remark impossible, it is where God can succeed to work. Where you saw possible, God is not working at the place where you see possible. God is helping to people who are seeing impossible into their lives. The reason they are calling him is the God of impossible. He is not the God of possible. Whatever Whatever is impossible will be possible to him. But whatever is possible to you is vital to him. Is vital to him. The reason if you were not born with it, fight for it to have it so that you succeed you too into your life. Now if you are not fighting for having it, you won't progress. You won't do anything. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Shout first the greatest hallelujah ever you are. The greatest hallelujah. Elijah imparted Elijah. Elijah started to follow him. In following him, arriving one day, him Elijah was not again a prophet. Was not again a prophet. And Kwaka Ashiakuya prophet was not again a prophet. Directly at that place, they start to go. He is fighting for becoming a prophet. He was not born with the prophecy in him. In him. But Lakini, he fought for becoming prophet. We are born without money. But we must fight for having it. We are born without wives. But we must fight for having them. We are born without husbands. You must fight for having Not on like this. Not on like this. Not on like this. Not on like this. On, not on like this. Not on like this. Let's start to go. Now, in going, in going, in going, and having somewhere, there was people whom they are calling sons of prophets. That was living in Gigo. 
When they arrive in the Gigo, people of Gigo, who were sons of prophets, informed to the follower, Elisha, Elisha bringing you, you are just only following. Are you now that your master will be taken away from your sight? And him to say, yes, I know. And they start to and you too now, what have you now into your life you are praying you are following Jesus what have you now into your life what have you now into your life they told him have you now that your master today will be taken out from your eyes and he said yes I know they cross there. They go again to a certain place. What's called Bethel. Arriving there to Bethel. There were sons of prophets. Them too. They call for the follower. And they told him. You a follower. Have you now that your master will be taken away from your sight? I say yes. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Now for going to Jericho. The master told now Elisha, remain here. I want to go somewhere. The man whom was fighting for becoming what he was, said, No, no, I want to remain here. Let I go with you. See wherever you can arrive. And the prophet said, No, let us go. And they had begun with him. And going like that, arriving somewhere, the prophet saw that the faith of this one is more greater. Now, let I ask him to, to ask for one thing what can be possible for me, for him to have. And I was going like this. I was going like this. Yeah. They are going like this. And he said, what? Elisha, Elisha, ask me whatever you are in need of. Whatever is possible. They step up like this. And Elisha said, what I can ask to you, my master, is a double portion of the gift of what is due. Oh, he stands. You've asked an impossible thing. You've asked an odd thing. Now, it is very hard. Now, this other thing, if you want to have it, it has got conditions. Whoever was looking for impossible things, whoever was looking for impossible things, impossible things, you must have conditions to follow. And I tell him, it is very hard. Now, if you will see me, that day I will be departed from your side. You will have what you are looking for. And Sisters, brothers, mothers, and fathers. We are looking for impossible things. A protocol used. The protocol which we are using. Protocol ule. Protocol ule Is the prayer. The prayer. Maombi. He is not succeeding to do anything unless it becomes two. Prayer has got his friends. That friend is the one who is allowing him to enter where is impossible. The reason they say you must pray and praise. 
There are two things. Now, in English, it is to pray and to praise. To pray and to praise. To pray and to praise. In English, it is to pray and to praise. To pray and to praise. To praise. Tell you to pray and praise. It is held as one thing. To pray and praise. Pray and praise. Two things. We are praying and praising. If you pray and you praise, now you will get the impossibility. What is hard? What is impossible? Why this man has spoken that no, you've asked a, a hard thing? This man, because that what he has said according to the law into the book of Deuteronomy the one who must inherit the double portion is only the blood relative is only the blood relative what means blood relative what means to inherit the blood uh, what, what? What? The double portion. It is only to be a blood relative. If you are not a blood relative, you want to narrate the double portion. Naim knew that yes, I am not a blood relative to this man. But I must fight for becoming it. He said, give me a double portion. And the prophet said, ah, it won't be succeed. Because of that, you are not a blood relative. For in rating what is in me in the double portion. Now the double portion. Fight for having it. He start to fight. He start to fight. He start to fight. To fight. In fighting, in fighting, fighting. One day, I received the double portion. The man. Do you know to inherit the things of the father? That kupiana. It is only to be a blood relative. If you are not a blood relative, you won't inherit the good of father. Now, the day this man passed away, I removed the mantle and I gave to the one inherit my mantle. And that man has narrated this mantle. As long as this one was not a blood relative, but he succeeds to narrate the mantle. And after narrating the mantle, he received the double portion. If you were not born with it, fight for it. Don't say, oh, my father didn't build a house. In our family, there are no people who are becoming present. In our family, there are no people who are becoming chiefs. Even if into your family, there are no those who are passing in the chiefs' position. Fight for passing in it. Fights into your family. They are only witches. Even if they are only witches, you must fight for becoming a prophet. To become prophet is not requesting only the blood relative. No, it is requesting the strength. 
When you are strong, you will inherit whatever is impossible. Now, if you are not strong, you won't inherit anything. Now, for becoming strong, it is not by the food, it is not by the milk, it is not by the honey, or oh, it is not by advice, it is by prayer. When people are and are praising they did to say they are becoming strong now when they become strong they are able now to inherit whatever is impossible into the life of Elisha there was even the calculum vitae calculum vitae was not there calculum Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't have even a calculum vitae to him. Even into his DNA, there was not even a percent of one chromosome. Representing that, no, this one is able to become a prophet. No. That was only power of strength. Follow him. Wherever the prophet is, is going, he is following. He is following. And following like that, family, one day, day, the thing was in the, in the, 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 the prophet come and become transferred in him. And all the people say, No, you have got a double portion. So, your neighbor, if you were not born with it, fight for having it. Use a protocol. This protocol, this protocol, this prayer and praise. You must be a prayer. You must be a prayer. When God do something, a small thing into your life, praise him. You must praise him. And after praise you pray. Don't be like that. You are like this. You are not like this. You are not like this. You must know that if you continue to become like that, you will die like that. You will die only like that. Now you must be a prayer and praiser. That is a protocol. What is a scotting people for entering into the impossible? The God we are praying is God of spirit. Spirit are in sin. Are in sin. And we are talking to the thing what is not sin. So that they realize something to us we are sin. To us we are sin. We are requesting thing, things from the invisible. So that they realize it into visibility. You must have a protocol who is capable to transform what you are looking for. That, ca that capable protocol is a prayer and praise. That is what we must pray.